Hey guys, it's Tanya, and this is my week four update for the nine week challenge. I'm almost halfway through. <clears throat> okay, so um, first, I want to remember to say that if you want to see what I'm eating and drinking every day, I'm posting on my Insta stories on Instagram, um, Voodoo Queen on Instagram, just like I am here. So if you want to see exactly what I'm doing, um, I don't always show the exact portion because sometimes I show my plate of what I'm going to eat and then I don't eat everything. Um, sometimes my eyes are still bigger than my stomach. But if you want to know just in general what foods I'm eating, that's where you can find it. Um, so how did I do this week? <clears throat> Let me start back from the beginning of the year. On fe fe uh, February 18th is when I was like, oh my gosh, my weight's getting like a little bit too high up there. I need to like, you know, reel it in from the holidays. And it was like right after Mardi Gras. My weight was 182.8. On April 2nd is when I started my nine-week challenge. I think I had my DEXA scan either that day or might have been the week before. I'll have to look and see. On February, on, uh, April 2nd, I was 176.9. So I'd already lost about six pounds. Uh, last week, I was 164.9. And this morning, I was 164.4. So I lost a half a pound this week, which I'm actually kind of surprised because... Um, this week was um, a tough week. I, I made one change that I'll talk about, but and then there was one thing that I was ch uh, challenging for me. So the change that I made was on my three fasting days. I'm fasting on, I'm fat fasting on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I had been only having cream in my coffee on those days. It may be like a bite of butter here and there, but um, mostly just cream in my coffee. Uh, this week I decided I would add in olives once a day. Um, I have those grilled olives that are freaking delicious. And um, so I had it either like at like dinner time or like right before, uh, yeah, around dinner time, like either five, anywhere from five to like eight o'clock at night. And um, just like maybe six of those big jumbo olives that are like, they're grilled and they're like um, soaked in olive oil. So basically pure fat. Um, so that's the only thing I really did different this week. Um, no, there's one other thing I did different. So that was the big difference on my fat fasting days. I had a huge ha allergy attack um, starting on, I don't know if it was Monday or Tuesday, but on Wednesday I felt terrible, like absolutely horrible. Um, I stayed at work, but I had like the sinus pressure in here and um, I couldn't breathe. I've been taking Claritin for like, uh, I don't know, like more than a month, I'm sure, and it's not doing anything. So I, um, I actually switched to um, like a no-name brand Allegra, and that seems to be helping a bit. I started taking two Benadryl to sleep at night. I can't, I can't take Benadryl during the day because it makes me feel like I'm on muscle relaxers. So um, on Wednesday, I wanted to eat but i think i wanted to like comfort eat because i did not feel good and so i pushed through it and i kind of now regret that i think i should have listened to my body and had something i probably should have had dinner that night but i didn't um lesson learned next time if that happens again i will just not do a fasting day that day and i'll have something for dinner that night um because I think that stresses your body out. Like my body was asking for something, I wasn't giving it, and I could have been like raising my cortisol levels, which inhibits fat loss. So lesson learned, I won't do that again. Um, I did um, work out a lot this week. Well, I worked out a lot in terms of step aerobics, but not in terms of strength training. So I had gone to my Saturday class last week, I went, I did step aerobics Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, and then again this morning. So I did four hours of step this week, but I didn't do any strength training because I should have done it on Tuesday after my step class. And like I, like I said, I said that, that allergy attack and I just wasn't feeling it. And I really wanted to come home and make keto fried chicken. And that's what I did. So I have one chicken thigh, the oven baked, oven fried um, keto chicken with the... Um, pork rind and parmesan almond flour crust is so good um i guess i just wanted to like comfort eat you know and so um i had that on tuesday night um wednesday i really didn't want to go to step aerobics but because i wasn't feeling good at all but i had promised my teacher i would go and we were all going to wear our matching outfits and so i'm like i can't miss it and i'm glad i went because i really it was a really good workout and then i just came home and showered and relaxed and yeah um got a good night's sleep that night like so good and um 
felt a lot better Thursday morning. Yesterday, I'm still very congested. I'm having to spray my nose, and I'm taking the Allegra. I'm taking the Benadryl to sleep. Um, I didn't take it last night, and I didn't sleep as good last night, so I will be taking it tonight. On my off days, I'm walking at work. Yesterday, since I knew I wouldn't be able to do my Friday evening workout because I had something to do for my daughter uh, in her fifth grade, um, well, her school in total, um, I walked for 45 minutes at lunchtime. So, since I'm fasting, I have my whole lunchtime available to do whatever I want. Usually, I just work through lunch because that's what I do anyway. I usually eat and work through lunch anyway, so that way I don't have to work overtime. But, um, I got out and I did a 45 minute walk all around my area so I kind of tracked a whole new loop that I can do twice and that's basically like about a three mile walk so I did that yesterday and then we walked a little bit at the event we were at last night um so I think that's everything so all together so for the four weeks of the this nine week challenge I'm down 12 and a half pounds and for from February 18th to now, I'm down 18.4 pounds, which sounds like a lot. Like, I don't feel like I was that heavy. So, probably starting out, I was holding on to some water because, um, yeah, I just don't think I was that heavy. But I will say that my tight jeans that I, that like, my favorite jeans are the jeans I bought. My, my first pair of jeans I bought after having my tummy tucked that were not, like, mama jeans that come all the way up. You know, they were actually, like, kind of low-rise jeans that fit my new body perfectly I will I've been wearing them every Friday to work and um I wore them yesterday and they are actually getting a little bit loose and they weren't even loose when I had my tummy tuck now when I had my tummy tuck I was swollen when I bought them but I was in the I look check back in this reconstructive surgery group that I was in and I had gotten down to like 153 which is really low I don't plan on going back there again um and in fact my mom who is very, very thin, told me this week that she doesn't think I should get below 160. And I probably agree with her. Um, I, I don't know if I will doing this challenge. I think at some point it's just gonna stop and I'm hoping that it kind of redistributes. My goal this week is to do strength training three times a week. So tomorrow I plan on doing it here at home. Um, a lot of weightlifting here at home because I have my weights and I know my routine. And then I'll do it Tuesday night after step, and then I'll do it Friday, like my normal class. Um, I don't see any reason why I shouldn't be able to do that. I really need to commit to doing it three times a week for the next five weeks to, to finish out this challenge, because that's the thing that's going to probably stop the weight loss while I continue to burn fat and build a little bit of muscle. Um, if I don't do the weightlifting, I'm not, there's no chance of me building the muscle. I could, I'll probably lose fat, but I won't build any muscle. and. I may not even maintain the muscle that I have. I'm really interested to see with what I'm doing with the high fat, because I'm having high fat on the days that I eat too. I'm having the true moderate protein, high fat and very low carb on the days that I eat and obviously high fat on the days that I don't eat. Um, I'm really interested to see how it, if it's muscle sparing or not, because there's a lot of controversy over this. And if um, I've been following uh, Keto Savage, you can go search him on, uh, YouTube and he is a natural bodybuilder he has won a bodybuilding contest being completely keto and keeping his protein very moderate to low especially for a bodybuilder and he did not lose any muscle when he was training for his competition so I find that very very fascinating and I'm doing basically an end of one experiment to see if that is the same for me too but of course I'm not working out the way he did um, I'm doing more cardio than strength training so that's why these next five weeks I really need to crack down and concentrate on my strength training so um, but yeah I was saying that my jeans were getting a bit loose I've noticed that my workout pants I'm having to pull them up a little bit more during step class because they're kind of sliding down a little bit and I'm really not interested in buying a bunch of new clothes I just want to look good in the clothes that I already have so We'll see. We'll see what the next five weeks shakes out to be. I'm buying bathing suits <laughs> because I'm um, encouraged that it's going to, you know, they're going to look okay. So I will be back next week with another update. And I actually have an update on one of the things I want to talk about with my sleep is our new mattress and our uh, new pillows. We are, I'm doing a whole review on the pillows that we've researched and purchased and decided that we love and are keeping. So look for that later this week. Bye guys. I forgot to say, go out and make it happen.